my robe. He's good, Dan. He's good. Ah! Oh, I'll say. What a team. Look what you've done to our ball! Your ball? Look what you've done to our clothes! Yeah, well, whatever, Walter. <sighs> How dare he? I'll whatever him. Hand me the bumper book of rules, Bertie! Ah, <clears throat> uh, uh -huh. as I thought. Uh, Mr. Balls, there's an emergency at the football field. Oi! What's this all about? Oh, I was having my lunch! Dennis is blatantly breaking the rules about playing football in the park. You called me down here for that? But it clearly states that when playing soccer in Beano Town Park, Rule 67A, dogs may not play in goal. It's the rules! Rules? This is my park and I make the rules. But... Uh... That, that, this grass is for playing football. So if you're not playing, get off! Well said, Parky. Maybe your lot should play a bit more sport instead of poking your noses into other people's business. I don't know. Here we come round. Well, I never. Walter, play footy. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not like you know anything about football. <laughs> I know plenty, actually. I could play if I wanted. Yeah, right. Of course you could. <laughs> uh, right. I will. In fact, my team will take on yours next Saturday. Right here. OK. You're on. Right. And the rules are... Uh, most runs wins. Goals is how it usually works, Walter. <laughs> uh, Walter, uh, we can't play football. I believe it's called soccer. And whatever it takes, we will win. First, we study the enemy. Oh, <laughs> awesome save, Nasha! OK, boys, let's take a break. So, what do you reckon, Dan? Walter's team will be a pushover, won't it? Should be, Curly. But you know Walter. He's always got some sneaky scheme up his sleeve. Well, I may not know much about soccer, but even I can see that Nash is good. What have you found out? Well, apparently, it is goals, not runs. And the chap who scores most of them is called a striker. So I suppose we need one of them. Anyone for one of Butch Butcher's veggie sausage bites? Don't worry, Dudley. I'll find us a striker. And you've just given me an idea how to solve the Nasher problem, too. <laughs> uh, what are we doing, Walter? I found our striker. The school new boy, David Peckham. Oh, hi, David. Ready for the trial? <laughs> That's good enough for us. See you next Saturday. Uh -huh. Right, we've strengthened our attack. Now to weaken their defence. <laughs> All right, boys. Practice makes perfect. When you're ready. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Best goalie ever. No matter what tricks Walter pulls, we can't lose. There you go, Walter. Five dozen super fat sausages, double cooked in fat. Thanks, Mr. Butcher. They look perfect. Uh, you've got enough there to feed a football team. Or at least a goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who, who did that? You were supposed to stop it! <laughs> That's right. Eat up, Nasha. <laughs> Almost caught by...
my slipper in, Asher. <laughs> I guess you're just getting old. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I'll always love you, whatever happens. <laughs> Hi, Nasha. Ready for fun? Something's not right here. Still a few more days to the match, and by that time, Nasha will be the size of a rhino! <laughs> First facts, then. He's definitely slowed down. And it's not long to our match with Walter. Curly, we could beat Walter and his mates with our feet tied together. Yeah, but like you said, he might have something sneaky up his sleeve. Don't worry. Nasha's still got it, haven't you, boy? <laughs> Oh. Come on, old pal. Do your stuff. <laughs> oh, Den, this is bad. Hey, Walter, ready to give up yet? Give up? <laughs> I don't think so. Mind if I have a go? Golly, is that a girl? <laughs> Pyphis, you're right. This is bad. What is it, boy? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> hey, get off, Soppy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Sorry, Nasha, it's not your fault. Everyone knows you're a sucker for sausages. You go ahead. You could do with some fresh air. I'll uh, <clears throat> catch up with you. I thought. One hundred and four percent fat. Bon appetit, Nasha. <laughs> no, Nasha, you can't. Be strong. <laughs> That's my boy. Now let's concentrate on getting you fit again. Sneaky. Poor old Nasha couldn't resist. But he's given them up and we've done some intensive training. <laughs> so, he's back on form now. Hang on. That's a new kid, David Peckham. I told you Walter would do something sneaky. Ah, oh, Dennis, you've met our new striker, David Peckham. And how's your star goalkeeper? Fine, thanks. In fact, he's as fit as a butcher's sausage. Oh, uh, I mean dog. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't he be? Huh. Still, I bet he's not fit enough for this. Uh. <laughs> Is that all your striker's got? You did it! <laughs> nice try, Walter, but nobody messes with our goalie. What? You knew? Of course I did. Nasha's my best friend. <laughs> 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 Dennis, 
Shame your parents can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. <laughs> Let's test the rocket overdrive, Masha. I suppose you think that's funny, do you? Oh, oh, I, I, oh. Oh. oh, no! But, Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, there must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize-giving soon. Prize-giving? Yes. Where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change... You get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here, I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please. Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs. Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. <laughs> Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get this skateboard? Good behaviour's the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> Huh. You never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? Ooh. Might one carry all the leaves for you, Mrs Creature? No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize giving today, but old creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No, 
all doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, boys. I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the best behaviour prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! <laughs> Come on, Walter. It's starting. I can't go in. It's too humiliating. Hang on. That's Dennis's dog. Excellent! If I'm not getting that prize, neither is Dennis! Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Arthur Guff, Beano Town's most distinguished manufacturer of plastic coated string. If life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <coughs> now, many people will tell you that string has no personality. Eh? Nothing could be further from the truth. Dennis, hand that dog over this instant. What? No, miss, please. Oh, I might have known this was all too good to be true. Hand him over now, or there's no prize. So, I always tie a piece of string to my big special prize for outstanding individual achievement and it goes to Dennis we're so proud of you Dennis this is the happiest day of our lives and we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. <laughs> oh. Thanks very much, dear. Bit chewy. Goal! Oh, air goal! On the edge! 
Son, pass! Pass to me! That's it! We have suspected naughtiness at Beano Town Park. I'm in the park now. Uh, out. Oh, where did they go? Aha! And it all hinges on this final penalty kick. He shoots! Takes the ball! Oh no! <laughs> what the dickens is going on, Slipper? Well, it's that Dennis, sir. That child, Dennis? All this is the work of a child? Well, he's no ordinary child, sir. Uh, run me ragged for years, he has. I think it's time you had some help to catch him. A splendid trainee of mine from police college. Smashing fellow. He's sharp, efficient and has legs like tree trunks. Sergeant Slipper, I think it's time I introduced you to Sergeant Boot. Come on, Nasher. Let's skate. Whoa! Wow! What was that? <laughs> Someone's taken the wheels off. <laughs> Who are you? Boot, Sergeant Boot. Oh, good. I think someone's stolen the wheels from a skateboard. I know, I did. Health and safety. Skateboards cause damage to public property. Now, empty your pockets. Oh dear, very dangerous. It's a yo yo, it's just a toy. <laughs> Yo-yos used irresponsibly also cause damage. Danger neutralised. Now, we must examine all your possessions for possible hazards. Good. That's all the dangerous stuff. Though, this dog is an Abyssinian tripound, is it not? Riddled with fleas they are. He'll have the whole town scratching. Better put him in quarantine, just to be safe. Put, 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 put. Wait! Come back! Nasher! What kept you? Nash is in trouble. We've got to help him. Boot confiscated our wheels. And the seats. And my little silver bell. Never mind that. Come on! Wait, Mr Ha Ha. Don't close up yet. We've got to mount a rescue operation to get Nasher back. No children allowed in joke shops. Order of me. Boot, where's my Nasher? Locked up, horrible flea bag. Don't you dare say that about Nasher. On your way, or I'll run you in for aggravated cheek. <laughs> Congratulations, Boot. All these fine arrests. Outstanding. No tennis, though. Only a matter of time, sir. As soon as he steps out of line, he's mine. Get out there, Slipper, and if you can't measure up to Boot, then that's what I'll be giving you. The Boot. Get it? Nah. The Boot Slipper. But I've already got Boots, sir. Out! Poor Nash is in a cage. And it sounds like Sergeant Slipper's boss wants to give his job to Boot. Well, I'll fix him. Look out! Shall I compare the... Come on now, break it up. We're just reading poems. It's a front for mischief. From now on, no children will be allowed to congregate in groups larger than... one. What about chess club? <laughs> That's harmless enough, surely. Too dangerous? Well, we just sit on chairs. Chairs mean danger. What about drama club? Out of the question. And safety club? Far too dangerous. But it was Sergeant Slipper who set up the safety club. Well, I think it's safe to say Old Slipper will be looking for a new job now I've single-handedly cleaned up Beano Town. Now go. Trouble with Boot, Walter? Yes. He's a rotten spoil sport. Almost makes you miss Slipper, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Such a polite, charming man. OK, don't overdo it, Walter. But, yeah, Slipper's all right. And now Boot's after his job. Oh, my. Who's in charge of Beano Town? Yeah, if only old Slipper could show him up. Catch a few criminals of his own. Not very likely, though, is it? Maybe he could do with a little bit of help. 
What do you say? Well, just this once. Thanks for these, uh, walkie-talkies, Mr. Ha Ha. Fox One, you ready? Uh, Foxy Fox Man One, ready? Now remember, Pieface, you're trying to get Sergeant Flipper to catch you. Gotcha. <laughs> Oi, stop that! Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that's littering. Oh, my tail's falling off. Right, you. <laughs> You're the... Oh. Fox One, did Slipper catch you? Uh, oh! Ow! Not exactly. Littering, eh? Naughty boy. Fox One, Fox One, hello. Fox Two, come in. You ready? Yeah, Fox Two ready. Uh, uh, hey, what's this? Uh, vandalism, eh? Yep, on purpose. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm going to have to book you, Curly. Now then, uh, where's my notebook? Um... Um, Sergeant? Ah, no excuses. Oh, ow! Did he get you? Not quite. Vandalise the mayor, will you? Oh, Into the van. No. Fox 3, come in. Yes, Fox 3. Oh, my. I hear footsteps. Sergeant Slipper's coming! <laughs> oh! Sergeant Boots! Oh, Walter. You're a long way from Safety Club, aren't you? Oh, my! Oh, what a mess! But you still have Fox 4, don't you? Of course! Fox 4, go! Ow! Oh, oh. A rogue biker in the high street. All units to the high street, over. Aha! A proper arrest! <laughs> Arrest you in the name of the law. Oh, Sergeant Slipper. I've met me match. I'll come quietly. No, you don't, Slipper. He's mine. I suppose this is your doing. No, sir. I can explain, sir. I have subdued a dangerous rogue biker, sir. What's this? Oh, I was having some trouble controlling my mobility bike, you see. And a policeman was helping me. <laughs> and then this fog left on board. But, sir, she's a menace, a dangerous criminal. <laughs> she's only a little old lady. Indeed. Looks like you've been working too hard, Boot. Oh, here comes that nice policeman now. Such a kindly, polite gentleman. Uh, what happened to the rogue? Thanks for helping me, Grand Slipper. Yes, good lad, Slipper. My apologies, madam, uh, and to you, Dennis. Uh, I leapt to conclusions. Now, see the lady home, Slipper, while I have words with Boot about this great big hole in my police station. Catch you later, Fox Four. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two grinning at, eh? You look like best friends. Friends? Really? You'd hardly expect me to associate with a common lout like him, would you, Sergeant? And I definitely don't play with big wussies like him. No. No, of course you don't. <laughs> yeah, me too, pal. Good to have you back. I must admit, the place hasn't been quite the same without your hairy friend. <laughs> Although, he still hasn't learnt any manners. <laughs> everything back to normal, eh, Walter? Hmm, yes. Everything back to normal. <laughs> Oh, oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. This time, you've gone too far, Dennis. 
It was only a water bomb, Dad. I was just having a bit of fun and Sergeant Slipper got in the way. Fun? It's time you learned that you can have fun without being a menace. Impossible! You really have to start learning how to act more grown up, Dennis. Who, me? <laughs> Yes, and lesson one starts with you helping out at my old class reunion party at Beano Town School today. School? At the weekend? Not another word, Dennis. It'll do you good to see how well grown-ups behave. But school? Grown-ups? Oh, can things get any worse? I had to ask, do you have to dress up like that? It's on the invitation. Everyone has to wear traditional school uniform. My two boys off to school together. I'm so proud. That'll be the rest of the gang. The gang? Why didn't you say Pie Face and Curly were coming too? Hello, Dennis. Is your dad in? Come in, boys. Have fun. Oh. Come on, Nasha. I can't face this without you. Are you enjoying meeting all of Daddy's school friends, Walter? Oh, yes, Father. Everyone has been simply lovely. <laughs> Until now. We're here, boys! Ah, uh -huh, good. Dennis, what are you doing here? Dad made me come. What's your excuse? I thought I'd help Father make this a memorable reunion. That's the attitude. You could learn a thing or two from this lad, Dennis. Yeah, like how to be really boring. Hey, I thought the invite said school uniform only. That's odd. None of these other invites mention anything about... No, there must have been a mix-up at the printers. <laughs> mix-up at the printers. <laughs> That's a great... Hey, I smell a rat nasher. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Dad's been set up! <laughs> <laughs> I should have known old soppy socks would try to make us look bad. Well, what are you going to do about it? Do? You can't let that sneaky swat get away with it. You have to get even. Nonsense. We're adults, not children. <laughs> That's taking the retro look too far. <laughs> I know. I guess some people just never grew up. Sad, really. You're not going to let him get away with that, are you, Dad? You, I, you, no, I am not. If he can play silly schoolboy tricks, so can we. Just this once, mind. Brilliant. Oh, oh for, for fun. fun. And fun for all. <laughs> <laughs> just like old times. I get the feeling this lot are going to need our help, Masha. Five, six. This is the spot, boys. I hope it's still in there. <laughs> Bingo! Our secret school war chest. <laughs> Stink bombs. Itching powder. Launcher rackets. And these! One of my better inventions. A boomerang? With the emphasis on the boom. <laughs> wow! Just a little something I knocked up in detention. I mean, chemistry. <laughs> OK, fellas. We've got launcher rackets. All we need now is something to launch. That's where I can help out. Great. They'll do nicely. I'll pretend I didn't see that. OK, gang, let's go to work. Looks like Dad's changed his mind about water bombs, Nasha. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> OK, let's have a picture of your wonderful teacher, Mrs Creature, and myself to remind us of our reunion ball. Ready? Steady? Fire! <laughs> Father! Dude. Maybe we should try that again, son. I seem to have something in my eye. Oh, bullseye! I think that's us all square now, gentlemen. You're all squares if you stop now. There's no need to cause more trouble, Dennis. It's job done and time to enjoy the party. 
Right, fellas? Um, yeah, let's get down there before that lot scoff all the grub, eh? But... When you were at school together, was Dennis's father really voted most popular student every year? Yes, but I've made sure he'll not win this time. This time, it's my turn. That's not fair. We've got to do something, Nasha. All right. The time has arrived for everyone to vote for the reunion's most popular student. Congratulations, Father! Not yet, Walter. Make sure you judge your choice on their manners. Ready? Their intelligence. <laughs> Aim. And, of course, their style. Fire! <laughs> Wait a minute, I recognise those. Boomerang Bullseye! Dennis, put my boomerangs back. Uh -oh. Your boomerangs? I should have known you'd be behind all this. Like father, like son. Come here at once. Me? No way! Dad didn't do it! I'm sorry, Mrs Creature. It's all my fault. If I'd behaved more like a grown-up than a menace, none of this would have happened. Far too late for apologies, I'm afraid. You've behaved so badly, I'm going to have to call your mother. Oh, no, not my mother. Come on, Nasha. It's time to prove who the real menace is around here. Serious? He's been causing half a at his old school. Throwing water bombs, cakes. My boy? Oh, it's a mess. Are you sure you don't mean Dennis? <laughs> OK, I'm on my way. This I've got to see. Your mother is coming to take you home, young man. Leaving the rest of us to enjoy the party without any more. Bravo! <laughs> gotcha! Dennis! Stop that boy! Ha ha ha! We have him now! That's the only way in or out! There's no escape this time! Get him! That's the last straw! <gasps> so, what's my naughty boy? <gasps> Mrs. Creature, what have you done? Dennis? Oh, I get it now. My grandson's arranged this room to get me here for a pie fight! Oh, what fun! At last, the party started! <laughs> and we have order police. I'd like to ask you all for a show of hands to vote on this year's most popular student before things fall into total chaos. I vote for you, Father. I vote for my gran. The fun didn't start till she arrived. The yes, that's right. Gran. Yeah, that's I vote for her too. Gran. 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 You heard, Big Ears. My gran's won. Thanks. I'll weld this to my helmet when I get home. Speaking of which, you're all invited to continue the party at my place when no rules are the rule. It's a shame you lost out on the trophy. Yeah, at least Soppy Socks lost out too, though, eh? And we've kept it in the family. With a little help from you. And you. Oh, and Gran. Talking of which, let's, let's go, go party! Oh, for fun and fun for And never forget, in the wrong hands, there is nothing more dangerous than a canoe. 
except perhaps a brain-eating squid. <laughs> I'll now show you how to make a canoe motor out of a pelican. Mm. This is boring. Yeah, I've had enough lectures. Time to liven things up. <laughs> <laughs> You guys coming? Oh, taking the canoe without asking. Fine. Spend the rest of the day listening to the Colonel. Stop! You are not authorised to pilot that vessel. Yes, you heard how dangerous canoes are. Not to mention brain-eating squids. I reckon one of them got your brain, Walter. See ya. Uh, Mrs Creature! Colonel! Yes. Many a man has been led astray. They're too far away. They can't hear us. Dennis isn't getting away with this. Follow me. Life on the rolling waves. Nothing like it. <laughs> what is it, Nasha? <gasps> I don't believe it. <laughs> Looks like they want to race. <laughs> Walter, what's up? Pull that canoe over. I'm making a neighbourhood watch arrest. The neighbourhood's back on land, twit face. Oh, uh, we may have a problem here. Go back! That's <laughs> 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 so stupid! Why do you have to do that? Oh, 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 I don't think it's been old town. Dennis! Dennis! <gasps> Curly! Oh, no, mate! You've been cut in half! No! I'm under here! Pull me out! <laughs> <laughs> to go with a deserted island. Cool. Uh, it's not totally deserted. Quiet! Follow me! Get us down from here! Wow! We heard something, probably you lot, and decided to hide. Sure thing, Walter. Go on, boy. You know what to do. <laughs> I hope you're happy. We're marooned, and it's your fault. You should be thanking me. Thanking you? Dennis Land is the best thing that ever happened to us. What's Dennis Land? The name I just gave me island. Think, no parents, no school, no homework. This is Dennis Land. So whatever I say is law, and whatever you say must be ignored. Huh. We'll see about that. Bertie, Dudley, how would you like to be part of my new island named Walter World. Say yes. Um, um yes. yes. <laughs> Good luck, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who the sucker is. I pinched this from Curly when he wasn't looking. Ha! <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Excellent. Let's eat it now. <laughs> no. We need to ration it. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, 
gone. Children are missing. Oh, we have to call the authorities. There's no time. Squid could be eating their brains as we speak. What are you doing? I don't know how to drive a canoe. Neither do I. But who needs experience when you have rank? Now row, woman, row! Oh. Time to have some fun! their life, not a care in the world. You said it. So, when's dinner? I'm starved. OK, there's one care in the world. You mean no dinner? No pies? We'll starve! How long have we been in this place? It's only been an hour, pie face. So long! Wait, Curly, what about that chocolate bar you had this morning? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's here somewhere. Uh, it, oh, it's gone! Somebody stole it! Oh, Walter! He's stolen from the tribe! This means war! <gasps> yes! Almost there! Finished! Oh, excellent! We'll soon be out of here! So, uh, when can we have our clothes back? When we're rescued, which could be days, months, years. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Is that chocolate on your mouth? Uh, no. <gasps> He's eaten practically all of it. <laughs> oh. Stay back. Remember, this is Walter World, which means you can't hurt Walter. There they are. Look, there's the chocolate bar in Walter's hand. He's threatening the chocolate bar. Must save chocolate bar. Hi, <gasps> face. Wait. Guess the war started. Stop. One more sip and I eat it all. <gasps> What's that? Don't worry. I'll save your chocolate bar. <laughs> under control. I declare this land carnal country. Ah! 